Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to get started in just a few seconds. We have a few more attendees arriving as we speak. This is Christian from Core Competence, and I'm joined by Giuseppe and Fernando from Perini. Hello. Hi, everyone. And John from Exponential Growth Consulting. Hello, everyone. I'm going to share my screen. And we are going to get started. I hope everyone can see the first slide. Thank you again for joining us today. We appreciate your taking time out of your busy schedules to participate. Welcome to run your fashion and apparel business with an integrated solution from Microsoft Dynamics 365 and Perini. We've got quite a bit of ground to cover today, focusing on how you can leverage technology to run every aspect of your fashion and apparel business. We're going to start by covering an important partnership that is forged between Microsoft, Perini, and Core Competence to integrate an innovative end-to-end data-driven solution. We're going to start with a primer on the industry, and then we are going to dive deeply into the details of the end-to-end -end solution for fashion and apparel. First, let me introduce the team. John Paochelli is a financial expert in the fashion industry, supporting the transformation needs of international customers, both as an in-house chief financial officer and an independent consultant. Giuseppe Gizzoni and Fernando Pereira are both senior executives at Perini with over 30 years of experience in the industry. They have a deep knowledge of the worldwide market and the fashion, apparel, and textile industries in all their various incarnations. Finally, I'm Christian, and I have over 20 years of experience in web, mobile, and marketing technology. I've helped some of the largest, most respected brands in the world improve their customer experience and operational excellence. Just one more housekeeping point before we begin. There will be a question and answer session after the main presentation. You can ask questions at any time by using the panel on the GoToWebinar interface, but all attendees will be on mute throughout the entire session. We want to set the stage by talking about what it means to partner for success. First, you have to start with an industry-leading, best-in-class foundation. Microsoft Dynamics 365 is a leader in the market, providing a range of finance and operations features. This serves as the underlying technology for Perini to augment with features specific to the fashion and apparel industries. These are the tools that you need to succeed in the day-to-day -day and long-term planning of your operations. Then you need a partner that is going to implement all these platforms on your behalf, configuring the software to your specific needs, setting up your own roles and users, and ultimately migrating any of your existing data. That partner is Core Competence. It's the combination of skills and software that Microsoft, Perini, and Core Competence bring to the table that make it work for you and ensure your implementation is a big success story for your company. Core Competence is your total technology transformation partner, helping you engage your customers and prospects, enable your business, and accelerate results. We solve business challenges and help our customers gain competitive advantage by maximizing their investment in leading technology platforms. We implement and support cutting-edge solutions like Microsoft Dynamics 365 ERP and CRM, and we partner with Perini to bring its fashion, textile, and apparel specific solutions to the North American market. Microsoft Dynamics 365 is a set of intelligent business applications that helps you run your entire business and deliver greater results with predictive artificial intelligence driven insights. It integrates seamlessly with software you know and use every day, like Office 365. It can be augmented with the Power Platform, 
Azure Internet of Things, Power BI, and it also features an app source store where there are thousands of pre-built third-party apps that can be used to deliver cost-effective specific functionality for your organization. Microsoft Dynamics 365 is a comprehensive solution to automate all of the processes of an enterprise, namely financials, procure to pay, quote to cash, multi-channel operations, supply chain, manufacturing operations, and hire to retire. Its architecture enables organizations to model their operations within the software, even if they're operating in a complex environment with multiple legal entities, different warehouses, manufacturing plants, et cetera, both within a single country and across international organizations. Dynamics 365 is used around the world with versions available in dozens of languages and regions. Perini is a leading international Microsoft partner. They deliver state-of-the-art solutions for the fashion, apparel, and textile industries. Established in Como, Italy in 1968, they provide a full suite of tools, including enterprise resource planning, customer relationship management, business analytics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, internet of things, performance management, collaboration and knowledge management targeted at medium and large companies. Today, Perini works with some of the most recognizable textile brands in the world and some of the largest, most prominent fashion brands, as well as a strong presence in the luxury market with many household names. Now, I'm gonna turn the floor over to John Palicelli, who's gonna walk us through business challenges in the fashion and apparel industry. Thank you again for joining. John, take it away, please. Thank you, Christian. Good morning, everyone. It's really a pleasure to be here to share my insights into what I believe is going on in the fashion and apparel industry. Let me just start by saying these are my opinions and everyone has an opinion and I'm not saying my opinion is any better than anyone else's opinion. I certainly uh, am very, very happy, however, to share my point of view. I think primarily we all understand that change is essential to survival and success in the fashion and apparel industry. The key, however, is to choose the correct path and the correct pace of change that best aligns with your customer. This is easier said than done. Offering the perfect customer experience has led successful fashion and apparel companies to adopt and embrace technology that allows them to use the store differently. I'm sure we have all been in stores where mirrors reflect back apparel that you have not technically tried on, but shows you an image. There's smart technology with respect to RFID, there's cameras and tracking devices that are tracking your movements around the brick and mortar store. All of these are emulating the capabilities that we all have currently on our e-commerce site where we can track the journey of our customers across our e-commerce site. It's this melding together of the two channels that is important and needs to be consistent in order to be successful. In fact, speaking of the brick and mortar, the often discussed death of the brick and mortar channel is back on the table. COVID has led itself into a position where folks are saying, maybe we don't need e-commerce, excuse me, maybe we don't need brick and mortar. In fact, maybe e-commerce can carry the day. Speaking about the elephant in our room, COVID has caused the outright closure of many stores and the bankruptcy of over 30 retailers, including such notable names as J.C. Penney, Tier One Imports, True Religion, J. Crew, Lord and Taylor's, Neiman Marcus, 
and Brooke, Brooke Brothers. Many of the apparel and fashion industry companies who survived COVID are facing technical defaults on their bank lines. Many of my clients are facing technical defaults on their bank lines. These defaults will inevitably result in higher interest rates, which will demand greater agility to survive and thrive. Markets, specifically the high dependence on the businesses in China as a manufacturer and as an evolving and growing consumer marketplace, have been strained by the global political unrest caused by the virus. In short, the key to survival, as depicted in this slide, is that the consumer remains central to all that we undertake. We must continue to adapt and recalibrate our offerings and strategy within our various channels to remain relevant. Spending a little time on what I believe is the most important part of this equation, the who. It's particularly important to note that the current and future generations of consumers are not only value conscious, but they are values, with an S, driven. Meaning that they think about their purchases, not in terms of just the value or the cost, they think about it in terms of its impact on the globe. The consumer has been evolving rapidly since the advent of the internet, mobile devices, increased accessibility to computers and broadband have resulted in an explosion of information, sometimes overwhelming, driving fast moving trends and changing taste levels. These trends require a nimbleness in the design and supply chain unparalleled in the history of consumer products. For example, has anyone out there heard of the term just-in-time delivery? All buzzwords now so that we companies can maximize our ROI. Know your customer project, the inevitable KYC project. It used to be every other year, maybe every third year. Now it's almost incumbent to know your customer on a seasonal level, meaning that these KYC projects become seasonal as opposed to every third year. Companies will need to develop strategies based on building communities of consumers focus upon around environmental issues, issues of sustainability, and causes that have a charitable focus. Appropriate addressing of why will force companies to elevate and insert historical performance data into the design room, a lead with data approach rather than a lead with design approach is imperative. Answering the questions how much and when are topics that have caused sleepless, sleepless nights among the members of the C-suite. The pacing, the delivery window, and the access to capital remain paramount in these decisions as companies attempt to tighten the supply chain and shorten their cash conversion cycle. In conclusion, I've become a disciple of data, even though my mathematical acumen stalled way back in high school. I believe we need to leverage the power of computing and data to be in the best position to anticipate trends and needs. We must understand the demand and meet it rather than hoping to create demand. Investment decisions grounded in internal and external data mitigates the risk associated with any offering. I think we can all agree that ignoring the data that exists is short-sighted and a bit foolhardy. With that, I want to thank you for your time and allow me to send it back to Christian. Thank you, John. That was very helpful. Appreciate that excellent overview on the challenges of the industry. Now I'm going to turn the floor over to Giuseppe and Fernando, who are going to walk you through how an integrated solution can allow you to integrate data at every stage of your process. Giuseppe, Fernando, please take it away. Thanks, Christian, for the introduction, and thanks, John Policelli, for your valuable insight on the challenges faced by the fashion and apparel industry. As a software solution providers, our goal today is showing on how we can help you and your companies in the coming years to be prepared for these continuous and unpredictable transformations and supporting you 
particularly on the challenges identified by John Policelli for the coming years. To do that, we need an accurate and complete database and a strong and powered platform together with an integrated software solution and, uh, of course, where needed, bringing the ne necessary fashion business uh, differentiators. The solution is uh, uh, Microsoft, uh, Porini and Core Competence and uh, you will understand during the presentation the reason why I have organized uh, uh, in, uh, in this way my presentation. Microsoft uh, is the base that offers us the platform and the global integrated solution. Porini that brings the fashion and textile business uh, experience into the solution. And core competence as a system integrator for both Microsoft and Porini to support you uh, locally. Our presentation will focus on uh, different areas that will be identified, apart from uh, the analytics uh, and uh, CPM part that will be presented across the whole presentation and uh, not uh, on a, a specific uh, subchapter. At uh, a high level, Dynamics 365 is a comprehensive and state-of-the-art solution which addresses all functionalities of uh, several businesses. It has uh, several models and sub-models which can be implemented by customers depending uh, on the industry requirements. Let's start uh, taking a look at financial planning inside 365 F&O. Uh, Dynamics 365 has a very comprehensive functionality consisting uh, of the standard general ledger uh, accounts payable, accounts receivable, though, and uh, fixed assets. These models have uh, specialized functionalities that consists, for example, in uh, bottom-up and top-down budget planning, multiple financial dimensions based on existing lists, uh, such as customer groups, uh, uh, item groups, as well as custom dimensions, uh, valid code code combinations among dimensions, uh, intercompany transactions and uh, multiple, multiple companies consolidation, uh, automatic uh, bank statement reconciliation using advanced matching rules, interface with the project planning tools um, like um, MS Microsoft project uh, uh, into project accounting model, uh, Dynamics uh, 365 Financials has a very powerful costing-related functionality and also has functionality which complies with the global regulations such as uh, SOX, uh, IFRS, uh, and also has functionalities for tax and statutory fillings with uh, tax authorities uh, in different countries. The supply chain management uh, functionalities, that of course is part of the global solution also, is very uh, strong and can help you manage, uh, plan uh, and schedule uh, inbound uh, uh, and outbound logistics, uh, manage uh, multiple um, warehouses with zone-specific storage uh, and uh, different movement policies, use uh, wave and cluster the peak uh, uh, to economize and stream streamline worker movement within the warehouse, keep inventory quantities accurate uh, by uh, planning and scheduling cycle. Seamlessly interface with labeling and shipping apps uh, and devices. Uh, quality management is a key feature of the supply chain management and helps maintain inbound quality from suppliers as well as outbound quality to customers. 
uh, the multi-channel and the store operations uh, functionality uh, helps you manage uh, uh, centralized inventory control like say, across uh, all the stores interface seamlessly with the marketplace partners payment gateways and retail devices uh, such as uh, wake scales uh, barcode scanners and others automate uh, items transfers based on items movement uh, in each location and uh, further dynamics uh, 365 delivers uh, a seamless uh, unified shopping experience uh, by connecting digital in-store and uh, back office operations on a, an omni-channel commerce uh, platform. Now uh, we're going to talk about how Porini's offering addresses uh, these needs on top of Microsoft Dynamics 365. Porini 365 is a suite of products that work on top of the Microsoft platform in uh, two different ways. From one side, we have uh, the Porini uh, CRM and uh, ERP extended uh, the functionalities of Microsoft uh, solution to support fashion and textile specific uh, business requirements. Uh, on the other side, uh, we have also developed specific apps based on Microsoft platform that integrate with existing solutions. An example of that is uh, PLM or a client link app to support sales at the store. And of course, uh, the analytic parts uh, that is completely crossing uh, all the areas. We will uh, walk you through a high-level overview. First, and uh, to present uh, our application, global application solution, we have the Microsoft uh, platform as a foundation. We use uh, Azure services and Teams as a collaboration backbone, and uh, we take advantage uh, of all the power platform tools, plus uh, an extension extension of the Core Dynamics 365 functionalities. Our offering includes six main areas. First, the Porini 365 apps. Uh, these uh, that include uh, uh, PLM, Product Lifecycle Management, PDM, Line Planning, uh, Collection Management. Uh, but uh, there are also other apps uh, like uh, mobile uh, apps uh, go from collecting ideas to the quality control of uh, arriving products. Secondly, we have uh, the Porini 365 ERP. This is the extension of the Microsoft ERP solution for fashion and textile companies. The goal is to adapt the standard functionalities to support the fashion and textile needs. From uh, uh, product uh, uh, management with technical detailed da data to the colors and sizes or collection management, all the way through the production, sales and purchases, uh, and of course inventory uh, management. Next, uh, we have the uh, Porini IoT for manufacturing. Uh, this is where we offer our solutions uh, related to IoT. This includes uh, things like machine monitoring or predictive maintenance, even solutions related to consumer, uh, such uh, as using sensor or image uh, analysis to control the flow of customers in store. Some of these projects are also, uh, of course, a consequence uh, of uh, the restriction, restrictions uh, related to COVID. Next is uh, what we call Porini Analytics for Enterprise. Uh, under the Analytics 4, we have uh, all the solutions and projects related to data, inside, data insights uh, and application of AI and machine learning. Uh, we have some predefined dashboards uh, and reports, but we adapt the analysis uh, and the algorithms according to customer business model uh, and needs. Next is the Porini 365 CRM. This is also called uh, LFR, Loyalty Fashion Retail. 
uh, and it is an extension of Dynamics 365 customer engagement. And it's, uh, it's aimed at supporting the marketing and the retail management departments to improve their relationship with the omnichannel customers, making sure that the customer and brand interaction experience is always uh, the best possible. Last but not least, uh, the Porini 365 Complete, that is a solution that monitors your supply chain, creating emergency groups to cooperatively resolve critical issues, simulate uh, the effectiveness uh, of corrective actions and implement the most convenient ones. Uh, the truth is that we create a virtual twin of uh, your company and it allows you to optimize uh, every decision supported by artificial intelligence algorithms, simulates new solutions proposed by the system and compare them through standard KPIs and uh, personalize the uh, reports. A couple of uh, key distinguished uh, features. Uh, our solution uh, is the only solution in the market that can cover from fiber to retail, or as uh, our motto, from ship to shop. Together with Microsoft, we are the most complete solution available uh, in the market. Thanks to our partners, uh, we are supported in more than uh, 40 countries. The solution is, of course, completely based and certified on the different Microsoft uh, platforms. The solution is uh, very uh, flexible and could be commercially uh, offered with or without the production features. This is very important, particularly on uh, markets where important is the brand but uh, uh, probably uh, you don't uh, or some of you don't manage the production. Um, there is an essential model that is uh, mandatory, but you can decide to use or not use uh, the production. Let's talk now about the beginning of everything, the collection management uh, and PLM. In the collection and product uh, development management, uh, uh, companies can control the design process uh, and, uh, of course, the, one of the goals is to reduce the time to market. A typical flow on the fashion industry is uh, illustrated here. We start uh, from the forecast and budgeting. Uh, we use uh, uh, AI tools to help on uh, predict the, the collection. Uh, we can facilitate the creation of uh, new products and uh, whether uh, you outsource or you produce uh, internally, you can define uh, till the complete uh, tech pack. Let's uh, take a look uh, with uh, more detail. We use uh, AI algorithms to support us the forecast and budget process, uh, allowing us to cluster the products and identify the typical trend for each one of them taking in consideration, of course, historical data uh, and external information like trends, campaigns and promotions uh, on similar products. As when we do forecast, it's for new products normally that we don't have uh, history. We collect uh, all existing data, identify the time series, uh, and, uh, um, of course, cleaning, uh, do, we do the cleaning the data and we automatically select the most appropriate algorithm to plan our next color collection. Uh, we use uh, existing probabilistic models delivered by Microsoft platform and adjust uh, or create new ones according to the customer business model. The result, uh, it's... Uh, um, a forecast and an inventory planning based on market and product characteristics. In parallel, we have developed additional algorithms for the collection prediction. Based on the forecast and combined with the customer segmentation and behavior. In this example, 
we have a, 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 a prediction by customer target and by product type uh, uh, arriving to number of products uh, to be developed by segment and uh, product type. This prediction can be the input into line planning, identifying the number and types of products to be included in the collection. Different uh, breakdowns could be used like uh, team, uh, color, uh, target price, uh, uh, or, or others uh, uh, created and configured by you. The line planning allows managers to visually control the collection development, for example, uh, in this case, uh, is uh, aggregated by team, casual and chic, uh, and by gender, man uh, and uh, woman. And uh, they can also identify uh, the status of each of the new products to be designed, design phase, product definition, precosting, whatever phases we define for each uh, of uh, the placeholders that we will have in our uh, collection. After that, you can create and define uh, new products by selecting existing ones or also uh, taking ideas that you collected from market trends or competitions or shows. Uh, the ideas could be uh, selected to support designers having a clear uh, idea on the new product to be created. Using Microsoft Power Apps, we can develop a mobile application that allows you to easily collect information from web, pages, social media, or even taking photos using your own phone. The result is stored and segmented according to your own product characteristics in a database of ideas. To simplify the, the product definition process, you can use a configurator that allows you to completely identify your new product starting from existing models, uh, adding fabrics uh, or uh, accessories that uh, you have in your database uh, or using uh, descriptions that allow you to identify the material to use. To completely identify uh, your product, other information can uh, be added, like production instructions, uh, machine setups, packaging instructions, or measures, as uh, you can see here in uh, uh, the screen. Um, the solution also supports the pre-costing, uh, and compare the target price with the developed one based on, of course, the bill of material uh, uh, and your internal production or sourcing process uh, that uh, you have done. Uh, you can identify in whatever uh, uh, level you want uh, pre-cost uh, uh, of the product. Just as an example, you can arrive at to a complete and de detailed as you want tax pack, uh, depending of course uh, on uh, your uh, needs. The entire uh, creation process is supported by uh, workflow uh, features that allow management to control the status uh, of the collection. And finally, uh, we have the analytics tools that are always available and support the users uh, both uh, in the creation process, for example, sentiment analysis uh, that uh, um, allow you to quickly identify the reaction from social media to a new product uh, to, to, to be announced, or uh, into analysis of the collection behavior from a, a sales or a margin point of view. Let's move now uh, on some of the functionalities related to Porini 365 ERP, uh, particular to sales, purchasing and sourcing, uh, and uh, inventory management, logistic uh, and production. Let's start from master data. I will not go into detail in the functionalities, only uh, pointing out uh, uh, some of them. 
Master data is very important and allows, of course, uh, companies to make uh, uh, decisions based on detailed data, ensuring, uh, of course, the success of the analysis. We give to our customers a complete and configurable product setup that allow the users to manage all type of products with all the requested attributes. For analytics purposes, the users can create all technical data and even define their own data using a simple wizard. No code, it's only configuration. We can also manage, of course, size charts and distribution curves that will be reflected in all documents and transactions across the, the solution. This is an example of a, a customer order. Here's something that is very important but not common in the market. You can use two uh, size charts with two dimensions. Uh, it is essential, of course, particularly on trousers. You have the size and you have the, the size variation that is land, but also in uh, shoes, uh, brass, uh, and um, uh, shirts, of course. Uh, here is an example on how the sales order or the transactions will come out uh, to you uh, in uh, the, the system. Seasons and collections, uh, as we already saw, are managed, but also from uh, uh, sales and uh, inventory, allowing uh, uh, you to define uh, inside the ERP milestones uh, for the different collection uh, phases, like uh, uh, sales, uh, procurement, production, uh, replenishment, for us to understand. Uh, colors or uh, designs and sizes can be managed by collection and you can uh, create uh, inclusively if you want exclusive products by customer. If you have a specific design, if you have a wholesale business and you have a specific design for one customer, you can manage uh, this uh, exclusivity. We also offer the possibility of using uh, uh, additional files to uh, support uh, product definition as different color catalogs uh, that could be created uh, generically for the company or by season or by vendor or by product uh, composition. With these uh, catalogs, it is very easy to add colors to uh, a new or an existing uh, model, like this shirt that I have in my item master, uh, with these uh, uh, six colors, I can add uh, easily a new color to uh, this uh, model or create even a new one and add it to uh, this uh, item. Uh, the same concept uh, we applied for printed designs uh, and uh, variants. Regarding uh, the bomb and route definition, uh, it is very simple because we use uh, templates. Uh, that allow users to create uh, the bomb only once uh, and easily do the declinations, for example, uh, by color uh, and size. Uh, this is an example of color combination for, uh, uh, in the screen and uh, the uh, consumption uh, by size. So I can change both the, the, the component by size or the quantities by size. The green size is the basic one. Uh, the solution can support uh, uh, all type of business. Retailers, wholesalers, private label and, uh, and uh, others. Uh, this is uh, uh, equal through uh, of uh, both uh, an underlying uh, data and the user interface. In this case, you can see the use of a B-dimensional size and uh, using a, a customer hierarchy definition to control, for example, the credit limit by store or by customer. 
we uh, also offer a set of tools that support uh, uh, making uh, quick decisions and reacting to changes, for example, in the delivery schedule, maybe due to logistic issues uh, or product cancellation or substitutions. Uh, we do it uh, with mass, uh, mass maintenance uh, on, uh, on sales order, uh, keeping, of course, uh, an historical log uh, of all the transactions. Uh, collection management, color and size uh, management are available all across uh, the application, including uh, the purchase orders, the procurement. A very crucial feature which can reduce the time to market in a lot of cases is the use of uh, blanket orders. That is a contract with vendor that allows you to, to order generic products in advance and specify final characteristics, for example, the color or the printed design, only on a later uh, stage. Maybe uh, when you have the first indications from the pre-sales uh, campaign. We, on inventory, and this is uh, very important, we can uh, uh, guarantee completely the traceability uh, and all the history of a product through the, the production and the transport process. This is very, very important in the current market to support, for example, sustainability. Uh, both for raw material and finished goods. Everyone wants to know from where my product come. For example, not only on that, but uh, if you have uh, uh, organic uh, uh, products, uh, you have to guarantee also that uh, you, your final product is really made uh, with uh, the organic uh, cotton. Uh, of course, uh, uh, we have advanced warehouse management. Uh, is available on the standard, uh, allowing uh, uh, of companies to optimize uh, inbound and outbound uh, logistic uh, as well as uh, physical storage. We can see the, the real-time visibility, uh, uh, visibility of the available stock situation, be it um, uh, on-end, uh, uh, forecast uh, or uh, uh, demand forecast or uh, uh, incoming from uh, uh, purchases or uh, uh, from uh, production. We know that uh, production is mainly in <laughs> uh, 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 normally in Asia today in the, and Latin America, but the world is changing and uh, a lot of brands are reducing mass productions and avoiding sourcing uh, too far away. Local and uh, internal production is becoming um, a significant uh, option again, at least for some uh, embellishment processes. Uh, if this is your case and your company has internal production, our solution can support and facilitate the planning and control of all the operations through the entire manufacturing supply chain, all the way to, to since the, the beginning uh, till the cut and sew, using uh, specific functionalities according uh, to each uh, process. If your sourcing process is uh, split uh, into different subcontractors, we can also support and control all the transactions uh, between your company and the different suppliers, keeping track uh, uh, and facilitating uh, uh, and controlling all the inventories and the related uh, uh, service costs. Last but uh, not least, uh, we support the decision makers by providing solutions that transform data into relevant information quickly and efficiently uh, in order to increase performance across uh, operations and deliver the right experience to all users in the company. Our solution is based uh, on the Microsoft Power BI platform providing uh, our customers with great functional coverage uh, flexibility and uh, an extraordinary uh, easy uh, of uh, use. Now uh, I give the speech to my colleague uh, Giuseppe Ghisoni, 
that uh, will carry on talking about our CRM solution for fashion retailers. It's up to you now, Giuseppe. Thanks, Fernando. Even before COVID-19, the outward in retail was omnichannel. A modern retailer could not be successful without exploring and mixing the three forms of sales, on retail, full sale, and above all, e-commerce. Of course, COVID-19 has heavily impacted the mix of these three forms, increasing their dependence on e-commerce. The modern consumer is increasingly a mobile consumer, purchases from the smartphone and picks the goods in the store. In addition to this, one of the marketing drivers of full fashion brand is to be more and more customer centric in order to interact with the customer almost in a one-to-one -one mode. For doing this, the retailer must intercept all customer actions and make sure that all your dedicated and unique messages reach the single consumer and are also perceived as unique for him or her. Historically, companies have evolved their business much faster than IT solutions. Very often we have a silos-based infrastructure built along the time in a non-coherent way and depending on the needs of the moment. ERP not properly connected with the POS, e-commerce not speaking with the POS, POS not capable to handle loyalty programs. We have seen all varieties of inefficiencies. This is where the Porini solution comes in. It serves as a convergence point of customer information, no matter where it comes from, and as a dispatcher for outbound marketing, while in the meantime managing social interactions and loyalty programs. First of all, of course, we need to know everything possible about the customer, combining his personal information with his spending behavior, including from where they purchase. Once we know all this data, we can use it for clustering, for one-to-one -one or one-to-few marketing activities, or to produce recommendations based on other people, same cluster behavior. The card is one of the classical ways for associating the brand to the customer. It can have a life cycle, which starts with activation. It can also be lost or damaged. All this needs to be traced and managed to avoid any inconvenience to the customer, such as if the card were lost or stolen. The Fidelity program is where you define the rules in, by which to interact with your customer, where you manage the reward catalogs, where they can redeem awards or vouchers or promos. The promotion engine is, of course, working in real time, so then it, that any action is immediately available in all customers' contact points. This is where you can see and follow all customers' transactions and of all types, of course. Like in all application, there is a setup area where you need to define your retail framework from your retail chain to your different uh, e-commerce platform, events, actions, attributes, all the store personnel, the association customer prefers salesperson, and so on and so forth. Uh, we can propose a client entering app where the store assistant can manage the customer registration its signature of the Fidelity program, the status of the customer loyalty program, the list of all purchases from all sales channels. In general, is her transaction history. The store assistant can also manage personal tasks and appointments, as well as sending personalized mail. Talking about data, the pivot for successful marketing and retail management is data and the way you add value to your data. We have seen before that the data, all the necessary data are available. Now we can use artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms to develop product recommendations 
keeping in mind your internal goals, such as uh, prioritizing uh, one color variant versus another. No matter how detailed and how many data points you have, you need to visualize the data in a meaningful way. Otherwise, it can lose its usefulness or even be misleading. Therefore, we offer a vast set of standard dashboards and reports, all based on the most common and frequently used KPIs. Last but not least, artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities embedded in the Microsoft platform can support customers who want to increase their performance for demand planning, stock and replenishment optimization, customer segmentation, and churn analysis. I want to finish presenting you a couple of customer experiences we are particularly proud of, as they are testimonials of several of the solutions that we have been speaking about. This is the case of a customer uh, who is, a, you see the name, is a well-known Italian fashion brand, it's quarter in Italy, but the brand was originally born in the USA. A few years back, they made a software selection and they picked up Dynamics as their preferred solution versus other international competitors. They were using an old DRP, which was not supporting anymore their evolution and increasing volumes. They went progressively for Dynamics 365 and the Purini Vertical, supported by an extensive use of Power BI. They are now on a scalable system that has no issues even in peak transaction season. They integrated their solution with their existing PLM. This name, unfortunately, uh, cannot be uh, disclosed openly. It is a flagship for the Italian fashion business, the luxury segment, worldwide renowned. Their retail operations are across five continents with a plethora of local systems for POS, administration, CRM. They decided some years ago to organize and have a unique store experience for every customer in the world, knowing that their customers were very often uh, travelers, either for tourism or for business. And they were used to buy one time in New York and next time in Rodeo Drive in Los Angeles or in Milano. Of course, their interaction with the brand and the knowledge of their attitudes and actions is a company asset that has a global value, much beyond the local borders. All this info can be the driver for either one-to-one -one or cluster-based marketing and communication campaigns. Uh, this is all for now. Back to you, Chris. Thank you very much, Giuseppe and Fernando. I thought that was an excellent overview of the in-depth capabilities available when you combine Microsoft Dynamics 365 with Porini software. And thank you again, John, for the great overview on the market. We have a few questions coming in. If you do have a question, feel free to use the panel on the right. Uh, first question that comes in is for John. Um, the gentleman says that business owners appear to have endless options for technology platforms these days that can streamline and help scale up their business. Uh, most retailers are looking for software that can improve the overall business, um, but they often make misguided or incorrect choices. What is you know, your key recommendation to ensure that you've got the right software for, your, for the unique needs of the business? John, I think you may be on mute. I got it. I got it. I apologize. No. Um, I think it's a great question. And, and let me just uh, tell you, as a finance person, you always start with your budget. What could you afford to do? You know, but then I think what's key is assessing your internal resources and what could you internally handle. You know, I think that's really important. And then once you make those assessments, your budget and your internal resources, then you have to select partners. And in my opinion, you know, the partner that you select, your SI, your systems implementer, you know, has to be someone you trust, someone that you have some experience with, someone, someone that you're willing to place your business in the hands of. I think that the, the uh, for middle market companies, to say the least, 
you know, we're always looking for that end-to-end -end solution as previously described by Fernando. You know, I think that software that has built-in extensions, extensions that already work, so you're not, you're not really the beta test to integrate something new into your ERP system. I think it's really important that that, you know, is in place before you go down that path. But more importantly, like I said, I think you, you really have to trust your, your partners. If you don't trust your partners, if you haven't gotten strong uh, references on your partners, um, I think the, the project is almost doomed to failure. Thank you, John. I thought that was a great answer. Uh, another question just came in for Giuseppe. Um, what is unique about your CRM solution, the Perini solution for faster retailers, and what are a few key points that differentiate it from competitors? Okay, thanks uh, for the question. It's a good question. Um, I will try to elaborate what I told already during my speech. Um, the major comparison is with other uh, standard CRMs. Uh, uh, and the differentiation from the Porini side is that uh, the Porini solution is modeled and adapted to manage all the necessary retail data, it is uh, oriented and catered for the retail business. Uh, furthermore, there is a um, loyalty engine that uh, works in the background and uh, is already equipped uh, to instantly connect, uh, integrate, uh, exchange data with all the e-commerce and retail posts that uh, may be existing. And finally, uh, I would underline one, one more plus that I think it's important, uh, the native, uh, uh, the fact that it is based on natively on the Microsoft Power Apps uh, uh, platform, which uh, allows, enables uh, the user, the customer, uh, to have a very big potential uh, because of the zero code customizations and adaptation. Therefore, projects and adoption can be much faster and uh, less expensive. Excellent answer. I completely agree with you on the low code option. I mean, that's definitely a trend that's taking over the software industry that seems to have a lot of promise. Um, interesting that you mentioned timelines because there was a, a follow up question for you on approximately how long it takes to implement one of these solutions? <laughs> very, very no, that's a tough question. One. Okay, uh, no one has the uh, crystal ball, but it depends customer by customer. Uh, there is not a, a standard rule, but uh, I can tell in our experience that uh, we have had uh, projects that uh, uh, with multi countries, uh, large retailers uh, with hundreds of store, uh, stores where projects lasted for six and nine months, while small retail chain stores have been able to go live in three to four months. So it depends a lot from the size of the and the complexity of the retail chain. Still, that seems pretty quick to market for such a sophisticated solution. I was going to say the answer is good as long as you don't say two weeks. <laughs> Okay, great. Uh, Fernando, we finally have a question here from you. Uh, a woman in the United States asks, uh, as you know, in fashion, when you do the forecast products, uh, when you do the forecast, products are not yet identified at the SKU level. How does your system handle forecasting for products that, in a sense, don't exist yet? I think you're on mute too, Fernando. Fernando. Sorry, it was for Mr. the others. It is uh, correct, and um, let's say that it's one of the, the biggest challenges. But uh, I have to say that uh, the way uh, we manage it uh, depends on uh, which phase uh, we are in. So during the initial forecast process, uh, what we do is that uh, we work grouping the products by high-level attributes. Uh, and uh, to uh, the forecast, do the forecast by type of product, uh, by price range, uh, team, uh, and uh, other characteristics according uh, to customer requests. Uh, of course, this is uh, configurable and uh, uh, we can do it according to customer needs. 
It is, uh, at the end, it's like creating placeholders according uh, to similar behavior for similar uh, products and previous collections. In case it's needed, uh, and uh, uh, we can create generic definitions for the placeholders that uh, will allow, for example, to start planning uh, the operations. As soon as we start uh, product definition, uh, we can also progressively change the placeholders uh, with uh, the most complete uh, product code uh, available till, if possible, arrive to the, the SKU. I'm muted. Excellent. Okay, gr great answer. Um, one other question here for John. Um, talking of building on what you talked about for uh, seasonal trends. This is from a gentleman based out of Canada. Retailers need to be aware of seasonal trends and sudden changes in customer shopping behaviors. You mentioned about how the customer is now value-driven, values-driven with an S, apart from looking for value. Uh, traditionally, a few seasonal changes in the product line was usually all it took to keep the store on track. But how does a retailer predict or strive for innovation to be values driven and have a personalized offering at the same time? Well, well in my experience, and actually with a couple of the customers that I currently am working with, I think you have to be authentic. I think it has to be part of your DNA. I don't think you can fake it, you know, like anything else. If, if, if these types of causes are, are, are true and resonate with you as a designer, you as a company, that's part and parcel of the brand. When you think of the brand, you think of certain things about that brand. I think that's the key. I don't think you can fabricate it. I, I don't think that, you know, waking up one day and giving, you know, $10 per every $100 purchase is really going to amount to anything you know, if in fact you have not been affiliated with that cause in the past. So I think you have to be true to your DNA and you have to be authentic. If you're not authentic, you know, it just, it falls on deaf ears. Christian, I think we've lost your audio. Hi, guys. Sorry about that. Um, we have time for one more question. This one is uh, for Fernando coming from a gentleman based in England. The question is, uh, there are other solutions in the market uh, with Dynamics 365 on them or a part of Dynamics 365. What really differentiates Perini from the competition? I was expecting that one. That one came, <laughs> it's, it's common in, in this webinar. So I, I don't want to go into detail of functionalities. Uh, but what I will say is that our solution uh, is the most complete and integrated solution from uh, PLM, uh, CRM, uh, supply chain management, retail, till analytics. There is no doubt on that. It is. Uh, for sure, uh, is the only solution that um, that supports the, also the production. And uh, uh, when we say production, it's for all type uh, uh, of uh, of products. Uh, it's uh, fully configurable for all type of business models: retailers, wholesalers, uh, private labor, label, uh, um, and and others. And uh, um, let's say. From a, a, a functional and implementation point of view, um, I think one of the greatest things that is that uh, we bring uh, more than uh, 50 years of experience uh, to our solutions. And on that, I'm quite sure that no one can compete uh, uh, with us, even Microsoft. You don't look that old, okay. Fernando. <laughs> Thank you, Fernando. A little Good bit more. Thank That's you. Thank you. That's all the questions that came in. Uh, once again, I want to thank everyone for joining before we close out.
Uh, on behalf of Exponential Growth Consulting, Perini, and Core Competence, we do appreciate your taking time out of your busy schedules. After you leave the session, you will receive a survey on what you saw and heard today. We'll appreciate if you take the time to fill that out as well. Uh, thank you again for joining and happy designing and selling. Everyone have a great afternoon. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.